Yo, chill, Germany. I know y'all in a hurry to get to the U.S. I know all you want to do is be in the States right now. But let me... Ch uh huh? What do you mean none of them want to be in the U.S.? Of course they do. They, they'd rather be dead. Hey, what's up, everybody? Christopher here back with another video. Thank you for watching this content. Welcome to all the new members of the CLR Nation. The only thing that I ask and appreciate is that you like the freaking videos. So Germany, I know you guys don't want to be in the US right now. I know nobody wants to go to the States. At least the majority of you don't. But if you did, where would you go? No idea? Believe it or not, there are a bunch of German communities still left in the States. In fact, there's more than I even thought there were. I knew there was some in Texas. I knew there was some in like Philadelphia, but I did not know there was some in Washington State which makes sense because Washington State's climate is similar to what Germany's is. Not that I'm stereotyping you guys into only liking abysmal weather. Just go with me. So I found this video of some people who have a very German kind of town. I started watching it, but I was like, nah, let me stop it right here. I'll throw this in the video because I, I truly felt like this was worth checking out. And if y'all trust me, then watch this with me and y'all can let me know what y'all think. So I think it's called Little German Town and we're gonna get started straight away because I'm ready to watch the rest of it. So here we go. Let's hope this video is everything that I thought it was. Teresa, how would you describe Leavenworth to someone who's never heard of it before? Kind of like a German Disneyland. <laughs> just a, a super great attraction if, if you wanna hang out and, and, and just have a good time. Have some Straight away. You can already tell that it's got the Bavarian kind of influence. When you look at the, the buildings there, those are the kind of buildings I saw when I was down south of Germany. And it's very similar. Also, they got the, the Clydesdale horses right here. I rode on some of those when I was going up the mountain to get to the Disney castle. And have some good food. I feel like you're in Germany. Heck yeah. Oh man, it's great. I mean, as you can see, it's like all German style. Touristy Germany, man. If you want like a good beer and just a great pretzel in town, like it's not hard to find. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a awesome little small kind of Bavarian. Look at that. Just look at the overview of it. It's surrounded by trees and, and mountainous area. The buildings are very, very similar. Very similar. Down, tucked into uh, the mountains of Northwest Washington. Did they nail the Bavarian music or did they? <laughs> Let me start off this video by saying that I love Germany. It is a lovely day here in Berlin. I've been there 11 different times, traveled all over the country, and I am just mm. obsessed with its culture and its lifestyle. So when I found out that there is a German in This guy's traveled there 11 different times, so maybe we ought to give him a little bit of credit for knowing a little bit about Germany. I have town here in Washington State. I booked a flight, rented a car, drove two hours from Seattle, and I'm here to see what it's all about. That said, the Leavenworth, Leavenworth Bavarian is village. Away in the beautiful Cascade Mountains. It has no more than 2,000 residents and it's modeled after a Bavarian village in Germany as there part of an initiative to attract visitors back in the 1960s. Parkstrasse. Let's just say that their plan worked out pretty well. Year round, very busy. We're the number one Christmas town in America. Third nice. largest Oktoberfest in the United States. Like in December, nice. we'll get like about 50,000 people per weekend. 50,000 people yeah, like, per weekend? It's all like, you can't even, it's like shoulder to shoulder, like down. So check that out though. The town itself only consists of about 2,000 people, but this guy said they'll get up to 50,000 people per weekend. That's crazy. That's how much people love the German influence. Here. First order of business, we have stopped at a super German restaurant here, and it looks incredible. Just the vibe here feels like Germany. You have all these wooden long benches that people are sleeping on. They have the big steins for the beer mugs. You have pretzels, you have bratwurst. How's it? Man, I'm in Germany right now. <laughs> <laughs> Got my stein of beer right now. Literally, could not be happier. Year-round, Leavenworth is a popular tourist destination from skiing in the winter to festivals in the summer and, of course, Oktoberfest. Okay, let's be real. They kind of got a lot of things right, Germans. Y'all let me know in the comments if this so far is a good representation of at least the Bavarian area of Germany. 
Cheers, man. The parts I remember a little bit were super <laughs> festive, super fun. You're like, you don't have much elbow room, but you're having a great time. Literally, when you're walking around this town, you wouldn't know that you're in the USA and not Germany. Like it throws me off. Like I'm in Washington right now, but I'm in Germany. So cool. I love this kind of stuff. I live for these experiences. The only obvious difference to me is that here there's paved roads, while in Germany, it'd probably be cobblestone. What an awesome experience here in Leavenworth, Washington. As a filmmaker, I can't help but notice that he added the, the walking, the footsteps of the high heels. Like, that totally was not the sound. That, that sound was added in. But, you know, I get it. It really hits home for me because my great-grandparents are actually from Germany and uh, I got German roots. I love the culture. I love the, the country and it's always in the back of my mind. So the fact that I can visit it here in, in Washington State in my own country is incredible. Danke schön. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Yo, so that was not that bad. Like I said, you can't expect it to be exactly like Germany. Of course, people around the world see German, see Bavaria as Germany and the Bavarian influence and lifestyles and culture related things as Germany. But I think they at least got that part right. I wouldn't mind visiting that place since I've lived here so long. I could be a good representation of what they got right and what they got wrong. I'd, be, I'd love to talk to the people there to tell them what's the most authentic parts of their little village and their little celebration. So overall, I think that was a nice video. And I still say that to you, if, if you're German and you do plan on ever visiting the States, besides going for all the touristy stuff, maybe visit one of these small German towns. You might feel a little bit like home. <laughs>